Welcome to My Insight, your all-in-one online customer portal designed for easy energy management on the go. This video is specifically for our Credit Build customers, providing you with all the tools you need to stay on top of your energy usage. Overview of My Insight. With My Insight, you can quickly set up your account and start managing your energy usage right from your smartphone, computer, or any other internet-connected device. Stay on top of your energy balance and make payments online whenever it's convenient for you. You can also set up a variable direct debit or a payment plan, making sure your bills are always covered. If you're having trouble accessing your account, guest payments allow you to make a payment without logging in, so you're always connected. For added convenience, you can also make payments over the phone, in person or directly through your bank. And if you've received an estimated bill, You can easily submit a manual meter reading to ensure your charges are accurate. If you need to review your past payments or download your annual statements, you can do it all from the payment history and statement sections. And when it comes to keeping your account secure, updating your contact details and password is just a few clicks away. My Insight puts control at your fingertips offering a simple and convenient way to manage your energy wherever you are. Let's begin the tutorial. How to set up an account. To begin setting up your account, first, open up your web browser and type in my.insight-energy.co.uk. On the home page, click the register here button. Only one user will be able to access my insight for your property. Please ensure that you are the responsible party for paying your utility bills before proceeding. Next, enter your details. Type in your first name, last name, email address, eight digit account number, and your postcode. Next, set up a secure password. Then check your email for a verification code and enter it into my insight to complete the setup. Once verified, your My Insight account is ready to go. How to resolve login and registration issues. You may encounter one of three failure screens when trying to log in or register. Follow along to learn how to troubleshoot each one. If you are shown screen one, this could mean either your account setup has not been completed or your move in date is in the future. Please reattempt registration after your move in date. If you still encounter this failure screen, please contact our customer service team for assistance. If screen two appears when attempting to register, some or all of the details you have provided do not match what we have on our system. This could be your first and last name, email address, account number, and or postcode. When attempting to register again, please check that the details you are entering match those on your welcome email. If this still doesn't work, please contact our customer service team. Or, if you have recently moved in but not yet told us, please click on the button shown on the screen to complete our move-in form. If you are taken to screen three, it means that there is already an account set up for the property. As only one user can be registered with My Insight for each property, please check with your landlord, property manager, or any other residents of the property that an account hasn't already been set up in their name. If you are the bill payer and still require access to the online account, please get in touch with our customer service team. How to view your account balance. One of the key features of My Insight is the ability to quickly check your account balance. You'll find your current balance displayed right on the home screen. If your account is currently in credit, you'll see in credit denoted above your positive account balance. If your account is in debit, you'll see a negative balance in orange with in debit denoted above. Please note your balance will update following the issue of your bill and or receipt of payment. Payments may take up to five working days to be processed and reflected on your balance. How to make an online payment. There are many quick and easy ways to make a payment to your My Insight account one of those being online. To initiate an online payment, click Make a Payment on the homepage. Select whether to pay off your balance or make a payment of another amount. 
If you're paying off your account balance in full, your eight digit account number and postcode should already be populated in the relevant fields. So you will just need to click continue. If you select to make a payment of any other amount, your details will also be pre-populated in the relevant fields. All you'll need to do is enter the amount you'd like to pay, then click continue. After clicking continue, you will be taken to our bank's secure hosting page where you can complete your payment. If the payment has been successful, you'll be sent to a thank you screen. Please note that if your account is in debt and you pay any amount that is more than the balance that needs to be paid off, the remainder will be added to your account as credit. If your payment has been unsuccessful, you'll be presented with this failure screen. Please check that you have entered all your bank details correctly when re-attempting payment. How to set up a variable direct debit. Depending on whether you have debt on your account, you'll be given the option to set up either a variable direct debit or a payment plan. By setting up a variable direct debit, your outstanding balance and any new charges will be included in your first direct debit payment. Here's how to set this up. First, click Direct Debit Setup on the homepage. Before continuing, you'll need to confirm that the bank account you wish to use is in your name and that you're the only signatory required. You'll then be asked to select the type of direct debit you'd like to set up. Select Variable and then Confirm and set up. If you don't have any debt, you'll only be able to set up a variable direct debit. Next, enter your bank details. Input the name, account number, sort code, and postcode the bank account is registered to. Click Confirm and Continue. Next, check your details are correct before clicking Confirm and Set Up. Please be mindful that any debt currently on your account will be added on top of your first bill payment as one transaction. Once your debt is cleared, your monthly payment will be equal to the value of your bill. If the direct debit has been successfully set up, you'll be taken to this thank you screen. If you'd like to set up a fixed direct debit, please get in touch with our customer service team. How to set up a direct debit payment plan. If your account is in debt, you can also set up a payment plan. This type of direct debit consists of a selected three, six, nine or 12 month period of fixed payments, plus a variable amount equaling the value of your monthly bill. If you would like to set this up, click Direct Debit Setup on the homepage. As with all direct debit setups in my insight, you'll need to confirm that the bank account you wish to use is in your name and that you are the only signatory required. On the next page, click Payment Plan. Select the number of months to divide your outstanding balance by. Upon clicking Confirm and Setup, you'll then be required to select the date you'd like the fixed payment amount to be taken from your selected bank account each month. Please choose between the 1st, 14th or 28th. Then enter your bank details. Input the name, account number, sort code and postcode the bank account is registered to. Confirm your details are correct by clicking Confirm and Set Up. Please remember that you're agreeing for two payments to be taken from your bank account. One for the fixed amount on your selected date and another for the variable amount 14 days after your bill date. If the direct debit has successfully been set up, you will be taken to a thank you screen. Once your debt has been paid off in full, your variable direct debit will continue to cover the value of your monthly bills. How to cancel or make changes to a direct debit or payment plan. To cancel or make changes to your direct debit or payment plan, please get in touch with your bank directly or contact our customer service team. You can find our details by clicking Direct Debit Setup on the homepage. How to make a guest payment. If you can't log in, register, or would like to make a payment for someone else, you can use our guest payment feature. Simply head to the bottom of the login page and click guest payment. Then confirm the type of billing account you have with us. Enter the amount you wish to top up by 
the eight-digit account number, and an email address to receive the payment receipt. After clicking Continue, you will be taken to our bank's secure hosting page, where you can complete your payment. If successful, you'll see a thank you screen, and a receipt will be emailed. How to pay via alternative methods. If you'd like to make payment via other means, you can do so over the phone, in person, or directly through your bank. To pay using your debit or credit card over the phone, please call your dedicated scheme phone number, which can be found on the Need Help page. Please note that our team will only be able to accept over-the-phone payments for fixed direct debits and for customers in vulnerable circumstances. To pay in person using cash, debit or credit card, you can visit any post office or shop displaying the PayZone logo. When paying in person, over the counter, you'll be asked to present the barcode printed on your bill. You can find a copy of your bill on my Insight by clicking on my bills slash statements. Under the Monthly Bills section, click the arrow icon to download your bill. You'll find your barcode on the second page. You can also set up a standing order or pay using faster payments directly from your bank account if you prefer. To do so, please use your bank's instructions. You will need to provide our bank details when asked. You can find these detailed on the first page of your bill. Please ensure to use your eight-digit account number as the payment reference. You can find this on the first page of your bill. How to submit a meter reading. If we are unable to obtain an actual meter reading for your property and you have received an estimate monthly bill as a result, you can submit a manual meter reading for us to use. If you're unsure whether your bill has been based on an estimate read, you can find this information on the second page of your bill. Your meter read will be annotated with an A if it is an actual remote read taken from your meter and is therefore an accurate record of what you have consumed. If we have had to estimate your bill, this will be denoted by an E. To provide us with an actual meter reading, navigate to the menu and click Submit Meter Reading. Select the utility you'd like to submit a meter reading for. Then, enter your meter reading and the date the read was made. You can also provide a photo of your meter reading. If you choose to do so, ensure your meter is well lit and the numbers on your meter are clearly visible. Here's an example. Next, click Submit the Reading. If your meter read has been successfully submitted, you will be taken to a thank you screen. To allow us to use your manual read on your next bill, please submit this within three days of the end of the month. Where a manually submitted read has been used for your bill, you will see this denoted with a C. How to view your payment history, bills and statements. With My Insight, you can view your payment history and annual statements at any time. To view your payment history, simply click on My Payment History, either from the bottom of the homepage or from the menu. You'll be able to see the date, type, and amount of each payment. These are displayed in chronological order with your most recent payments at the top. To view your past bills and annual statements, click My Bills slash Statements either from the bottom of the homepage or from the menu. On the My Bills slash Statements page, you'll be able to toggle between your monthly bills and annual statements. All bills and statements are displayed in chronological order with your most recent bill and statement at the top. Under Monthly Bills, you will be able to see the month and value each bill covers. Under Annual Statements, you will be able to see the date each statement was issued and the time period it covers. You'll receive your first annual account statement on the 12-month anniversary of your move-in date and every 12 months after that. Once available, 
By clicking on the arrow, your annual statements and monthly bills can be opened. They can also be downloaded as a PDF or printed if you wish. This can be done by clicking on the relevant buttons, usually found in the top corner of the page. How to update your contact details and password. If you want to change your email address or phone number, you can click Update from the home page. Please note, if you want to change your email address, this can only be done from my insight, as we are unable to complete this request for you. To change your details, click Edit Email or Add Phone to enter a new number or Edit Phone to change an existing one. After clicking Edit Email, enter the new email address you wish to use. This will trigger a verification code to be sent to the new email address. To verify your request, please enter the code received into my insight. You can also update your password here by following the on-screen instructions. How to add my insight as an icon on your device. My insight was developed as a web app to make it affordable accessible via any web browser on any internet connected device and allow us to easily make software updates without any disruption to you. Depending on whether you have an Apple or Android device, you can save My Insight as an app icon on your phone by following these steps. For Apple or iOS devices, type my.insight-energy.co.uk into Safari. and tap the share icon. This will open a menu. Click on the add to home screen button. Follow the instructions on the screen and click add. An app icon should now appear on your phone home screen. For Android devices, type my .insight-energy.co.uk into Google Chrome Tap on the three dots, then add to home screen in the menu. Click install. An app icon should now appear on your phone home screen. How to find our FAQs and contact details. If you are ever unsure of how to do something on My Insight, please head to the Need Help page. From here, you can find our PDF how-to guide and a link to our FAQs, as well as other helpful resources. If you still can't find the answer you're looking for, you can use our live chat feature to speak to an advisor or use any of the other contact details presented on the page. Thank you for watching. We hope you found this video useful.